Kaiden here, and today I have this 172nd full action scale model for you, and this is the Spitfire Mark 9. So I picked up this model in my trip to Texas, and when I first saw this, I thought, oh my goodness, this would be amazing to show you guys and review because it is a full action kit. Now you can see everything works on there, and this is their fifth volume of their full action kits that they've done and this is made by F Toys and I've done videos on F Toys model before and I am super excited for this build today and most of this package is in Japanese and I think they're just advertising one of their stands that you can buy for their planes and it comes with four spruces inside and then there is also clear parts and if you take a look at the sticker sheet um, when I saw this, I got super excited because you get to pick what your decals are going to look like. So, I thought that was super awesome, and I'm going to do a speed build for you guys, so let's get right on into the unboxing first. Alright guys, so we're going to unbox this thing. And one thing I noticed is that there's a nutritional facts right here, so if you get hungry, you can just snack on your... I'm just kidding. Don't eat it. It's for the chewing gum. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And it opens on either end. All right, here we go. Nothing in the box. All right, and before we start, I wanna show you what the materials I'm using for this kit. So here I'm just using this testers cement. This is non-toxic. So this I'm probably gonna put together with like the, the wings and the fuselage because it's a bigger piece and I want it to hold in better. But this is what I'm going to be using for most of the pieces. And this is for super tiny pieces. And this is cement. So it's not like the concrete cement, but it's basically liquid glue. So what it does, it melts the plastic and bonds it back together. And I just have this brush right here for putting on our water decals. Put some more water on that. And I have this exacto scalpel knife here I have the sandpaper for when there's like a rough edge on the spruce and finally I have this little file right here and now this it's like a little pokey end and also works as a file so this will be useful if I need to like poke anything out so that was a look of all my materials that I'll be using. But now let's actually look at the kit itself. All right, so here we have the instructions manual right here. Ah, uh, dang it, I was wishing that this would be in color. But there's these six steps right here. And then here are the different decal variants that you can use. And this shows the recommended tools. This recommends tweezers, cement, a knife, and some spruce cutters. And here's the parts list. So there's spruces A and spruces B. And so then if it calls for a certain um, a certain little piece, you can look right here if you get confused. And then here are the, the pieces that are not on a spruce. But besides that, we got this chewing gum right here. And F-Toys, they always put this in their little kits. So let's open up this box right here. Oh, looks like there's tape. So I'm just going to cut that. See, there's tape on this end too. So 
So here's our first piece. This is like the fuselage of the plane, and we're gonna probably wanna separate this so we can fit everything inside. But since it's a 172nd scale, it's gonna be pretty tiny. It's about the size of my hand. My hand is about five inches. And here are the bottom part of the wings. And here are the nicely packaged top part of the wings. And then here we got our clear parts for the cockpit. And then we have four spruces in here. So take a look at one of them. And a spruce is just this piece right here. It's this whole entire thing. Each of these are a piece. And this is a pre-painted model. So if you're kind of like an intermediate or just starting to begin, I think this would be an awesome kit because it's already pre-painted and also it's fully functional. Very highly detailed. All right, so that is a look at all the pieces. And here we got our water slide decals. And so you can pick your different variants there. So this was the parts list. Now let's finally go on to the speed build.
guys so I finally finished this kit and all this took a couple of hours so this is probably one of the most longest videos I've ever done but it's a good thing I sped it up for you guys and I did a speed build and now this looks amazing now you're you're seeing this from your computer or your TV or your phone or any device you're watching this on and now you may think oh yeah looks looks pretty good but in real life it looks super awesome 
and just just the feel of it and the landing gear I think really really sets the mood for that and then the propeller it works like a real propeller um, so it's all aerodynamic like that and so um, cover your ears because I'm going to blow on this and if you've ever heard blowing in the mic you don't want to hear it so here's what it looks like and it spins super nicely and I really like that and now this is a full function kit so the flaps the flaps and the ailerons they all work like that and now I had to glue these on because they kept popping out and so those showed the machine guns underneath and even the back part of the plane works which I think that is awesome for the functionability of the plane and also if you're like me you're either like when you when you make a model you're like oh do I put it on a stand do I put the landing gear down or what do I do but this since it's full action you're able to put the gear up and the gear down so here's the gear up position and this is the upright gear position and I think it looks awesome just to play around with but you shouldn't really play with these scale models but come on you gotta pick it up and you know, pick it up every once in a while because I just can't resist from holding this in my hands and how nice and delicate it looks and all the water slide decals I really love the customization because you're able to do any variant you want and this looks like this plane served in Poland because there's a little Poland water slide decal and now you're able to choose different decals that you wanted, like ones in Czechoslovakia and ones in Britain. There's all of your all of your variants. And now right here it shows you the numbers. For example, like 316, 315, 312, 93. I I don't speak Japanese or and I don't, you know, I don't really read Japanese, but I'm pretty sure those are like the divisions it is in. And so I think that is awesome. So I decided to go with the RFOM, and this is the Polish, it looks like. And now, uh, what I really didn't like about this is the the cockpit, okay? Now, um, what you had to do, I'm, it was in the beginning of the speed build. Um, if you guys watched that part, uh, it was super hard putting the engine together and then it just all gets covered up and then all of your work, like sure, you know that it's inside, but the display, all you can really see is the engine, which right here, there's this oil or this gas little can right there, and that needed to be pinched together when you're putting the two pieces of the fuselage together. And uh, it just got stuck and it was super hard, so off camera, I tried super hard squeezing it down. I had somebody else help me clamp it together and it just took forever, but I finally got it close enough. And so then I just decided to glue this piece on. So I highly do not recommend this, but um, if I ever want to, because um, I haven't decided right now, I can take off this because I only glued it on one side. So then that's just something I did. I don't really recommend that. And in the uh, on the topic of recommendation, uh, I really recommend this for like beginners. But um, if you're a beginner starting out and you already have your tools, this is great. If you're just starting out with nothing, uh, maybe just like a glue stick or some tape, no, this is not the kit for you. You really need all those tools to help you because in my previous, all my previous F Toys kits, um, I didn't really need to use these clamps, but these were super helpful, and I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, that I thought I wasn't going to use this, so I was like, uh, I'm not going to use it then, and then I'm like, okay, now I really need these, so I re recommend like a clamp or something like that, because you really got to hold together the plane for it to snap together easily, and then, yes, I kind of did need these spruce cutters, even though um, in the instructions, I recommend it. I thought, oh, I'll just use the knife, but it's actually easier if you use um, use these little spruce cutters right here. And tweezers, too. This really helps with decals. Forgot to mention that, too. And now, if you guys are wondering uh, 
the type of cement. I'm using this orange one right here, but I recommend the green one. The green one is a uh, super thin cement. So um, what it does is that it bonds together super fast, but it's for like smaller pieces. And this orange one is more for like bigger pieces, but um, I'm out of the green one. So I just had to use this one, but it still works just fine. And yes, I came with a pack of gum and this is the mint flavor. And here is the uh, quick look at all of the pieces. And now I'm just going to talk about each of the piece. So uh, there are some super tiny pieces that um, you are you are going to need these spruce cutters for. If you tried using the um, oops the knife, it's probably going to bend because if you haven't cut a spruce already before, um, for example, these really thin things like a machine gun right here. If you tried cutting it down like this, you need some pretty good pressure on that. So then when it goes down, it will break the barrel off. And I instantly did that. I'm like, oh, no. And so then um, uh, from then on, I used the spruce cutters. So, um, so you don't make the mistake like I did. Uh, please use the spruce cutters. And now the the instruction manual, it can be a little bit confusing because it doesn't show you which way. And yes, it may be telling you which way in Japanese, but I, I, I can't read that. Um, uh, so I had to look super closely to see which piece faces up or down by just little clues. And I feel like they could have pointed that out in English, even though F Toys is a Japanese company. Um, I feel like that that would just be a nice touch. And now, I have made when I was a little bit littler. I made these 172nd scale full action kits, and I gotta say, even though you can see like some of the glue splatters because I was trying to force them together, I kind of just had to do that because. Um, it wouldn't hold together like that and yes that's not really professional and it doesn't look too good afterwards but from a distance you can't really see it but when I was a little kid and put these full action kits together um, they did not look as nice as this so I'm really happy about how this turned out compared to my other full action kits but I really recommend this for uh, people who are starting out with the materials and uh, I'll put a list of my materials in the description down below so you can go check out the materials I used so you can go pick that up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video from me, and most importantly guys, thanks for watching. Bye!